Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on IELTS letter writing vocabulary. IELTS letters require some very specific words and phrases that you probably won't use in any other part of the exam. This is the place to learn them. The lesson covers the greeting, do's and don'ts, that is useful rules, common letter types, useful phrases and the sign off. First we'll look at all these points for informal letters and then do the same thing for formal letters. Every part of the letter is important, including the greeting. Always start your letter with dear, followed for informal letters by the name of the friend, for example, dear Ellen. You probably use hi and hello in emails and texts, but for letters, dear is more appropriate, so stick with this. It can be helpful to use the name of a real friend who you imagine you're writing to. This will make it easier to sound natural than if you write the letter to an imaginary friend. Now for some useful rules. Do use contractions. Contractions are the easiest way to show the examiner that you know you are writing an informal letter. For example, use I'm, I've, you'll, we'd, there. But do not use abbreviations or acronyms. Our text language is full of these. For example, we type choose and sept, which are abbreviations of Tuesday and September. Or we type THX and LOL, which are acronyms for thanks and laugh out loud. These have no place in the letter and you'll lose marks by using them. Your general writing task one question will be on one of these seven topics. The topics highlighted in red are the ones you're most likely to get for an informal letter. So these are a request, an apology, a letter of explanation, an invitation or a letter to make an arrangement. We'll now look at some appropriate vocabulary for these five common letter types. Remember that we're looking at informal language. For a letter of request, these phrases can be useful. Please can you? I'd be grateful if you could. I was wondering if you would. Would you mind? If you're making an apology, you might say, I'm very sorry about or I'm very sorry that. I'm really sorry but. I'd like to apologise for. Useful phrases for a letter of explanation are I'm just writing to let you know that I'm just writing to tell you about or I thought you'd like to know that Here's some vocabulary to use in an invitation I'm having a party and would love you to come Do you fancy going to? Would you like to? To accept or decline an invitation you might say I'd love to come Count me in. I'm sorry, but I can't make it. Finally, a letter to make an arrangement. Are you free on? Would Friday suit you? Can you make it on? Now for some other vocabulary you can use in an informal letter. When stating the reason for writing, say, I'm writing to, or I just wanted to let you know that, you may need to thank someone for something. In this case use thank you or thank you so much for or I can't thank you enough. We often express satisfaction in informal letters. These phrases do it well. I'm delighted to hear that. I was over the moon to hear about. I was thrilled to find out that. I'm so happy to hear that. Informal letters are often written to share news. When giving good news, say, I'm delighted to tell you that. I thought you might like to know that. If the news is bad, use a phrase such as, I'm afraid I have some bad news to tell you. I have a bit of bad news to share. We also need to sign the letter off correctly. Use one of these phrases, followed by your first name. All the best. See you soon. Keep in touch. For example, 
All the best, Jackie. You would never add your surname when writing to a friend. Now we'll look at formal letters. There are two options for the greeting in a formal letter. If you don't know the name of the person you're writing to, use Dear Sir or Madam. This will be the most likely situation. If you do know their name, use Dear and their surname. For example, Dear Mr Smith or Dear Mrs Jones. Here are a couple of important rules for formal letters. Do not use contractions. Contractions are informal language and should not be used in a formal letter. So you should write, I am writing to complain, not I'm writing to complain. Or I would like to apply for, not I'd like to apply for. And do not use abbreviations and acronyms. This is the same rule as for informal letters. Save abbreviations and acronyms for texting and social media. Here are the seven letter types again, with the ones you're most likely to get for formal letters highlighted in red. These are a request, a letter of complaint, an application or resignation letter, an invitation and a letter to make an arrangement. We'll now look at appropriate vocabulary for these five common types of question. All the phrases use formal language. For a letter of request, these phrases will be useful. Could you please? Please would you consider? I would be grateful if? I would appreciate it if you could. If you're making complaint, you might say, I am very unhappy with or about. I write to complain about. I am extremely dissatisfied with or about. I am writing to express my disappointment. Useful phrases for an application or resignation letter are I am writing to apply for the position of I would like to apply for Please find my CV attached. I am writing to tender my resignation. Another phrase for giving your resignation is to say I hand in my notice. In answer to an invitation, you might say, I regret that I am unable to attend, or I am pleased to accept. Here is some vocabulary for a letter to make an arrangement. I am writing to inquire about. I am writing to confirm the arrangements for. I would like to know. Please, can you tell me? Now for some other phrases you can use in a formal letter. When stating the reason for writing, say, I am writing to inform you that. I am writing to express my concern or my disappointment or my dissatisfaction. I am writing to request. I am writing with regard to. If you need to thank someone for something, use thank you for. I very much appreciate. No words can express my gratitude or thank you for your attention to this matter. Finally, we need an appropriate way to end the letter. One of these examples will work for most letters. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope to hear from you in the near future. I await your response. I expect to hear from you soon. I thank you for your consideration. Please respond at your earliest convenience. There are three ways you can sign off a formal letter. Yours sincerely, yours faithfully, or kind regards. Follow these rules when deciding which to use. Use yours sincerely if you started the letter with dear plus the surname, for example, dear Mr Jones. Use yours faithfully if you started the letter with dear sir or madam. Kind regards is formal but friendly and is also appropriate for most situations. It's particularly useful if you struggle to remember how to spell sincerely and faithfully. Always sign off a formal letter with your full name. For example, kind regards, Jackie Spear. Practice using this letter writing vocabulary with past exam questions 
and it will soon become familiar. You'll find more useful vocabulary for IELTS letters in the lessons on how to write formal letters and how to write informal letters, and also in the individual lessons on each of the seven different types of letter. I've put links to all these in the notes below the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.